Hello, hello. Okay, we try again. I hope this time it's going to work. Uh, so it's challenge um, day 17 today. So 17 days on the roll. Yeah. Uh, so today, first of all, Happy New Year to everyone. And uh, I, I, it's better, Tom. You can see me better now. Perfect. I have two. Okay, that's great. So I had to redo it. Happy New Year, everyone. I wish, uh, yes, day 17 indeed. Uh, so today I'm going to do a live with this crazy Hi one, <laughs> Suzanne, um, and we are finalizing our um, Shopify. So thank you, Happy New Year to you too, Tom. Uh, hi, John Hines. Is it better that this time? Tell me. Tell me. So today we are going to talk about the four key points you need to do uh, when you start a new business. Hi. So uh, I did talk about uh, mindset a lot over in December because I wanted to make sure, you know, so many say hello, Suzanne. Hi there, Tom. Hi. Oh, hi there, Tom. <laughs> so um, that you have to change your mindset to, to know exactly what you want to do. But after even when you know exactly what you want to do and what type of business, you need to have a plan. So I'm going to give you four points and uh, it's going to help you just to make sure that you are in the right business if you are doing your right product. Hi, Stephen. Hi. So the first one would be to uh, make sure you know and you're passionate about the product you're going to sell or represent or even the company. If it's not a product, it can be a company. So you need to be uh, to know exactly what you're going to talk about. If you are doing projects, you need to use your project before you're going to talk about. Hi, from the UK. Wow, it's late for you. Um, so I appreciate you to be here, Stephen. So, um, so you have to be passionate and you have to know exactly uh, your project before you, you share it. And uh, you need to be patient. And that I always say that. You're not going to be rich in a month or in two months. You need to be patient. So that is one big point you have to do because a lot of people after a few months, they just stop because they don't make money or they don't, they don't see that uh, they're they going to start. And that's my second point. You need to build your list because what you're going to do is you're going to pester your family, your friends, everybody's going to buy your project because you know, yes, be the project of a project, I always say that. So you're going to pester your friend and your family at the start, so of course you're going to make money because they are going to have pity on you and they're going to buy your project because I see you so uh, happy, so, um, how do you say that, Suzanne? Even that kind of desperate. Desperate. Yeah. <laughs> so they kind of, you know, they'll want to buy the project from you because you they want to help you exactly and they want to, to make sure that they, they are be behind you. But after a while, they are not. They're not going to buy the product. So that is my second point. You need to build your list. And how you build the list is you make funnels, you make blogs, and you start building uh, email lists. And uh, the big earners are always saying that the money is in the list. So that's why you need to build your list. Um, so every time you do a video, you put a post or something, put the, the name of the blog uh, or the name of where they can buy your project or something, a link that will bring you people, but try to use a funnel. So before they buy the project, they have to put their email address and that's how you're going to build your list. Thank you, Tom. So that's why uh, you need to build your list and that is very, very important. Um, so that is my second key point. As I said earlier, Susanne is going to talk about our project, how she's building her own business, which is completely different because for me, I always uh, join an MLM. I never built my project from the start. So that's why it's nice to have. Uh, so that was the second uh, key point. The, th the third one is envision yourself in your dreams. And that is very important. You have to make a plan. You have to put your daily goals, your three months goals, 
your six months goals, your yearly goal, everything you want to do and try to focus on that. If one day, because we are bad days as uh, marketers or even when you build, I mean, Susan, even when she's doing her project, some days doesn't work like she wants. So just go over what you wrote, go over what, uh, what you want to do. So leave your dream. And I put a nice quote on my blog and I put actually the, the quote on my Facebook um, profile so you can have a look. But it's just leave your goal, be uh, always with this goal, just see yourself achieving this goal constantly. And that is very important. Uh, the last key points for me would be to make a decision. So when you start making a decision, just keep it. Make sure you don't, um, you even talk to your friends, you talk to your family because you're going to, to learn a lot, you're going to train a lot. And it's what I always say, you have the invest, learn and uh, teach because you have to invest to learn what you're going to uh, to do and then you have to teach uh, your team or the people or even your customer to use the project or to use uh, whatever the company is doing so it's what I always say invest learn and teach so when you're going to invest you need to talk to your spouse your partner your uh, your family even your kids because you're going to to work a lot more time and or even your girlfriends if, or boyfriend or whatever or your friends when you go out you're not going to be as available as before for lunches or coffee so some of your friends might not understand it and you're going to lose them but well you have to make a decision if exactly if it's what you want to do because at this you know, when you start a new business, it's such an overwhelming time that you want to uh, to be able to uh, to just uh, be ready for the hours you're going to to spend. So that's why it's important you talk to your friends and your family before you do, and make the right decision. If it's what you want to do, do it hundred percent. Focus on it. Leave it. Live your dream and uh, you'll see that uh, you're going to, um, to achieve what you want to do and you're going to achieve your goal. So uh, the thing is tomorrow I'm going to talk about leverage the target audience because uh, a lot of people don't know exactly what they want to do. They don't know which audience they should target. So I have already the blog uh, nearly done. So I'm just going to do that tomorrow for, um, for the live and uh, in the so. That's it for me. I'm going to pass you, Suzanne. Thank you very much. And what I always say, invest, learn, and teach. And that is very important. You're not going to make money if you don't invest on your education. And if you don't duplicate and you don't teach what you build your list. Okay, I'll pass you, Suzanne. Hi there, everyone. Um, I'm going to take off where um, Kathy left off about learn teach and and what else you said <laughs> learn, learn teach and invest well invest learn teach basically um i am i am not in in any mlm and um but but our policies are very uh, reason is because i we my um, husband and i as you know we manufacture hair care products and I saw where there was a need for proper hair care products and also to educate especially black women. So I learned all there was to know about African textured hair. Persons who have even more African textured hair than I do. Yes, I have mixed hair, but you know, as a, as a mixed black woman, um, I do come across a lot of persons with there was a need for African textured hair. And so what I did was I learned as much as I could about that type of, of, um, of, um, then I, 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 um, I also teach a lot about it. Now, important facts, when you are going to start a business, if it's if it is even MLM, that is not necessarily your business, but you are selling for another company. Make sure that they it's it's they are honest products. Make sure that you can have longevity with the products. 
make sure that it is not something that a person is going to use once and they won't want to go and buy again. So make sure that the products are very good, that they are needed, right? If there is a huge need for something, people are going to show interest. And you also have to try and get that interest from so many different They actually said everything that I was going to say before, but I mean, <laughs> you know, I just, I just wanted to elaborate uh, coming from someone in the MLM, but like I said, a lot of the of the um, policies, a lot of the of of the executions are the same. Right. Thank you very much, Susan. You're very welcome. And uh, we're going to say goodbye. Thank you very much. So, as I said, tomorrow we're going to talk about leverage a target audience, and so you know exactly where you're going to find your target and uh, to make sure that you. When you have the right product and you find the right people to be working with you, like and, me, you are, oh. <laughs> and you're not trying the right, <laughs> you're not trying the right people. And Susan, she's falling from the I chair. I know. I'm sorry. Thank you very much for listening. I appreciate. So, if you want to see more blog, uh, it's www.followcathy.com. And uh, thank you very much. Day 17 is done. Bye. Bye. And a happy new year again. Happy new year, Bye. guys. Bye.